Um, so what was your initial reaction upon hearing that you won the Nobel Prize in Physics? Yeah, because uh, uh, I was so excited because uh, I was sleeping uh, and, uh, and uh, at the early morning, around 2 a.m., they, they called me, you know, and they said, oh, this is a uh, congratulation, you got the Nobel Prize. Oh, wow, I'm big. <laughs> I was surprised, yeah. <laughs> Were you able to go back to bed after that? And then I, I had to leave the United ECSB uh, mm -hmm. because already a lot of Japanese classmates they came to my private house, no? So private house, so so I have to leave my house immediately because uh, they followed me, you know? Wow. Yeah. So, so have you been very overwhelmed with all the media attention and yes. people wanting to talk to you? Yes, yes. All day, all, almost two days uh, from early morning to midnight, almost midnight, <laughs> they followed me, you know? Wow. Yeah, I do great. Yeah. So you said in your uh, initial press conference a couple days ago that you were motivated by anger. Would you like to elaborate on that? Yes. Uh, because basically my motivation uh, for the research is uh, anger, and without anger I cannot work very hard, you know. <laughs> and uh, so basically at uh, my former company initially I worked for the convention of red LEDs, and, uh, and the sales was not so good. So. So company was uh, complaining a lot. So, and uh, but the but the research were uh, you know just uh, my boss asked me to do those research and uh, they said that they complained. So I became so mad to the boss and uh, and and ten years later you know I wanted to study blue LEDs and uh, so with these angers I started blue LEDs. And so the red and green LED lights have been around for decades now. Um, but the blue LED light, what makes that stand out from the red and green LED lights? Uh, I think your question is, uh... Or what, what practical use do you see with the blue LED light in contrast to the red and green LED light? Oh, okay. Oh, basically, uh, basically people, you know, basically I could invent blue and green. Only the red is available. Because uh, traditional green is very dim. So bright is not enough. So, but uh, using the uh, uh, government is to develop blue and high efficient blue LEDs. And uh, so initially only bright, high bright is red LEDs. So red is only for indicator. They couldn't make any display because we can't we couldn't make a full car any kind of car. So by by invention of blue and green LEDs. So using a three primary color, we can make any kind of colors now. So we can make all kind of displays, lighting. Basically, important is we can make white color. Mm -hmm. White color is for the uh, lighting application. And also, more, very important thing is LEDs operated uh, batteries. The batteries usually voltage is 3 volt. So when we uh, invented blue LEDs in 1993, at that time, a uh, company wanted to develop a cell phone. But at that time, cell phone, you know, no display because they tried to use a conventional incandescent bulb or the fluorescent lamp. But the fluorescent lamp is operated at a voltage of 100 volts. So when they might want to make a display, uh, they have to make a 100 volt battery. <laughs> it becomes huge. So, so of course, uh, I, I could make blue and then white LED at that time. So they so LED operated 3 volts. So that's the reason why they could make a cell phone in 90, around 95, 96. Um, so, and you invented this was nearly 20 years ago. Um, what brought you to UC Santa Barbara, and what is it here that you find appealing to stay? Yeah, I came to here, uh, UCSB in 2000. Uh, because, uh, so, in 1999, uh, almost at, the, at, the, at my former company, I developed the blue green LEDs, also blue laser tile. And, uh, but uh, uh, in Japan, basically, no motivation. Even if I could invent those things for company, uh, just a salary month, and uh, I became very boring. <laughs> so in, at the end of in, in, end of '99, I decided to move to United States because uh, I saw the United States have a lot of child, uh, because American dream. Oh, people can have American dream, no? Especially people can start a start a company, and uh, so I talked to my. Uh, the conference at the, at the end of 1990, one conference in the United States. So at the conference, I told to some friends, I'm interested in moving to the United States. And uh, through this conference, basically 10 American universities and uh, five American companies, you know, contacted me. Why don't you come to our company, our university? You know? mm -hmm. 
And then finally, I contacted one of my friends, Steve Denbas. He's a professor over here, and Steve Denbas. And I talked to him, and he said, Oh, wow, oh, please come to my university. You know, <laughs> you see, he's the best, best in the world, you know. Mm -hmm. And I talked to other American people, so other American people told me, uh, if you're concerned about living, the best place for living in the United States is uh, uh, San Diego or Santa Barbara. <laughs> two choices, you have two choices. You know? And uh, it's also, so, but uh, in the concern about the research, you know, UCS is much better than San Diego, so San Diego is much better. So, so I selected UCSD.